Hey guys, Saxiomatic Uncertainty here, and uh, this is my first video in a while, but uh, yeah, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be going over uh, a very simple uh, tutorial on uh, VR in Unity. So this is just going to be really basic stuff, but I figured because of the card tutorials this is worth it. Um, I've just been exploring this stuff uh, the last couple of days just because it's really interesting and I just got my first uh, headset and so um, what I'm going to be going into today is just uh, how you can uh, integrate VR into a car racing game uh, and so we already have you know the really basic physics model from the tutorial series um, and I figured that might be a good starting point for something like this so uh, what we're going to do first is just disable the main camera. Um, we're going to be just creating another camera because I don't want to have to get rid of this one and remove all those scripts for now. I'd rather just start over. Um, so we're just going to create a camera and then we're going to create an empty game object. And we're just going to call this the uh, camera rig. That's what they call it in the documentation. So for simplicity's sake, we'll do that. And then we're just gonna drag this onto our car. Um, and you can see we can just move this around and our camera now follows. Um, so now what we wanna do is just put this in the car. Uh, so you can see I'm just gonna drag this, right? And just sort of get it in line with the car and then put it inside. Um, so I want to have this around where I would imagine that a driver would sit in the vehicle. So that looks pretty dead on, actually. Uh, maybe a little bit further back, right? Um, and a little bit higher, like here-ish, maybe? Seems good. Um, this is a very low vehicle, so it's going to be harder to see inside of it. Uh, especially since VR has a pretty limited FOV. Um, but you can see now, we're inside of the car like that and uh, looking forward with it. So that looks pretty good. The only thing that's off here is the angle is uh, not right. We'll move this over a little bit accordingly. And you can see now it's uh, it's okay looking. You can see we're in the car at least uh, and that's all looking pretty good. Move it a little bit forward. But the uh, the only problem right now you can see is that this is being clipped a little bit so what we want to do is just go into the camera itself and change an ear clipping to something like 0.02 <coughs> and now you can see uh, not much if any of this is being clipped because um, we don't want you know parts of the scene to just be removed um, okay so uh, now what you would want to do uh, though I've already done it uh, just because it takes a little bit, is uh, you'll go into Oculus integration on the Unity Asset Store, so you can just search Oculus integration, this will come up. And you're going to import, uh, for well, first download, and then import this to uh, your scene, and uh, to your project, and then once that's in, you'll see this Oculus folder here. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, in here, we have a number of... Uh, prefabs and plugins and things that you may want to use. So for example in here there are some uh, controllers um, and you know those are all fine, nice and dandy. You can see these are the controllers for the Rift S uh, and you know the Gear VR and uh, all the other headsets that Oculus manufactures. Um, and I'm just gonna go into these are some example scenes, sorry about that. I'm just gonna go into scripts and open up the OVR manager. I'm not actually gonna open it, um, but I am going to drag this onto my camera rig. And so this will handle the camera and the uh, HMD's location. Uh, so as you move the headset itself, this will handle all of the positional tracking um, and it will transpose that into the game relative to this camera rig. <coughs> so this allows you to integrate pretty easily room scale VR into your Rift. So now that we've attached the script, uh, that should be all we really need to do. I believe uh, this is the other thing, floor level. Um, I think what that does actually 
is, uh, I'm fairly certain of this, this sets this to be the origin of your play area, but at the base level of your floor. Um, basically, this means that if I set this to my, if I set my camera at 000, zero, zero like I've done here, if I am standing at a height of, uh, you know, two meters, say, uh, you know, average, that's, that's a bit over, probably 1.8 meters, the average adult male height, um, I'm going to be around here, and so the camera will automatically adjust to this position, uh, because this is set as my floor, this camera rig, uh, but in this case, we're doing eye level, and so, uh, my head is just going to end up being here by default, um, and so this is going to be my default eye level, and then my movements will change that, relatively speaking. Um, so, just thought that was interesting. I, I'm not actually entirely sure, so don't quote me on that, but um, I'm fairly certain that that's the distinction. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to launch the game. Um, and you'll see, as I launch this, that uh, Oculus itself will open. And uh, you can see it's now loaded. And so this is, it's uh, centered at the origin of where the headset was. Um, however, when I pick this up, it's going to move because uh, my headset was not on my head already. Um, so I'm going to have to sort of adjust this a little bit manually. Um, but you'll see, so right now it's in the uh, floor a little bit because obviously it was at a different position. Um, but you'll see as I put this on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the controller and I'm just going to reset my position in the Oculus app. Um, so you can see I'm putting the controller on, or I mean the headset, sorry about that uh, terminology issue. And as I do this, I should be able to momentarily... Uh, reset the position of my head. Uh, so, give me a second. Just opening up the relevant menu here. Gotta remember where it is specifically. Uh, I think, yeah, there we go. Reset view. And then I'm just gonna come up to my keyboard. Hopefully, this audio is not too bad. I just hit my microphone. I'm uh, going to come up to the keyboard and just reset, and you can see I'm now in the front seat of the car, and if I look down, you can see the seat. The only thing is the steering wheel right now does not adjust, but what you can see is that if I just, uh, sorry, I think I, I clicked out of the application window, which is why I can't drive right now. If I hit the forward button, you can see I'm, I'm accelerating. Uh, this, as I said, is a little bit of a low car. And so I can't see too much, but you can see I can look around and uh, I can steer, hopefully. Not really, it's hard on a keyboard like this, especially in first person. It feels really weird since this game was not made with first person in mind. Um, but you can see I can look around, I can look behind me even. Oh, I crashed. Um, and yeah, everything works as expected and intended. I can drive around the track. I can look over the sides of my shoulders. It's really nice. It's uh, it's really awesome to be able to do this stuff in VR. I think racing games are one of the coolest things in VR. I almost lost control there. Um, but yeah, that's like uh, just the bare basics. Um, this took like a couple minutes to put together um, just because you really don't have to do anything that controller track or the headset tracking is uh, much more straightforward than controller tracking and since we don't have any inputs it's basically just you know importing that stuff and getting it all set up I think I may release a tutorial on uh, inputs and like grabbing objects and throwing things and just how you would uh, implement that in unity but uh, other than that this is a uh, pretty bare bones and uh, I don't know it's really neat that oculus has uh, you know, an SDK for Unity that's as simple as this. Their integrations are very good, and they are super simple to set up, so I hope this helps you in some way. Um, I haven't seen a lot of tutorials on this stuff, 
so I figured I would try to, you know, extend that um, and just make this a little bit more accessible uh, because, you know, that definitely would have helped me a couple of days ago when I was doing some research on this. Um, but yeah, this is super neat, and I hope this has helped you uh, on some level. Uh, I'm just going to take the headset off now. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like always, you know, feel free to comment some suggestions for future stuff. And, uh, you know, to like and subscribe and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I'll try to get some more stuff out. Obviously, I'm pretty busy with other things right now. Um, which is why I haven't gotten anything out too recently. Um... But, you know, I try to get some things out occasionally, and uh, I'll continue to upload things sometimes. Sorry if you can hear the dog making some noise over there. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this to be helpful. Tell me if you want to see more stuff on VR specifically, um, and I'll, uh, you know, make sure to try to get some stuff out on that. Um, but, yeah, VR is really interesting, and uh, this is a fresh you know, thing to make, so I was, I was really excited about this, and I hope it, um, you know, served you well, um, but that's just going to be me signing off, and, uh, yeah, that's it.